Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about Windows 10 Mobile Build 14 291. Now, Microsoft released a build for PCs and a build for mobile today. They released them right next to each other and they even talked about it in the exact same blog post. Um, and it really bothered me. And those, of the, those that have been following me for a while know why it bothered me. Because they announced a whole bunch of features and unlike... You know, when they do an Xbox update and they say, this is what's new in the Xbox preview program. This is what's new in the Xbox app. They didn't do that. They just said, here's what's new in build 14.291. Okay, so right at the top, it's extensions in Microsoft Edge. All right, so now I look in Edge and to activate an extension, you would go to um, more and then extensions. And we notice there is no extensions here. Why? Because there's no extensions on mobile, at least right now. Um, so clearly, they're talking about the PC. And way at the bottom of the paragraph there, it says extensions are only available on PC. Which, great, fantastic, guys. Um, you know, that it's, it's just, it's this problem that I have with them just, it's clear that they're not focusing on mobile, that PC is the priority. Um, and that, that just always bothered me. It's like, it's like mobile is always a second citizen, a second class citizen. And if that's the case, how can they ever succeed against Android and Apple when for those two, mobile is clearly number one. Like Windows 10 mobile can never succeed as long as Microsoft doesn't care about Windows Phone as much as Apple and Google care about iOS and Android. So they have other edge uh, features here. Um, you can pin tabs. Um, so the way you would do that is you would right click on a tab and say pin tab. Now that one doesn't say in the in the notes that it's only available on PC. Although we'll see here that um, you really can't. So let's go to this and let's see. Maybe if we long hold it. No. No, there's there's just no way to pin it on here. That's That's really all it is. All right, so um, also other Microsoft Edge improvements. You can now copy any link into your clipboard and right-click into the address bar. Anything that says right-click, obviously you can't do it. I tried it before. I can paste into the address bar, but all that's going to happen is it pastes. There's no paste and go like there is now on PCs. All right, so there's just the, there's a whole bunch of features that's PC only that they, they really just don't talk about. Now, I spent a little too much time ranting here. Let's talk about what actually is new. Okay, so we do have a new Maps app, and we can see simplified one-tap access to search and directions. Use tabs to switch between multiple searches and directions on one map. Help us make maps even better. Select See More to send us your feedback and ideas. So we can see that the, the Maps app is an all-new redesign. There's no more address bar at the top. Everything is neat little icons at the bottom, which looks really great. I tried this out on desktop. I haven't tried it out on mobile just yet. Um, so you, you're going to have to bear with me a little bit. Um, so let's do a search and we'll search for the BP here. Now we should be able to minimize that or in some way. Um, so what we can do, we should, yeah, we can drag it down there. Um, on PC, you would click to minimize it, and then we search for something new and it shows both. Um, so the next thing on their list is that um, you can see labels for your search results directly on the map. No more numbers to match between the map and the list. All right, so, and then if I tap on BP there, it's gonna go back to BP and I can I can see that. Um, so Cortana will give you turn by turn directions if Cortana is enabled. Uh, we have improved the logic for nearby searches so you can see better, closer results. So this is showing me stuff that's just nearby. Um, so probably if I go to there, um, eh, what am I doing? If I go to one of the options here, uh, it's usually there. To, um, something that would say like uh, like uh, restaurants and stuff like that. I'm sure it's around here somewhere, but we're not going to delve into that. Um, so 3D cities, you can now search. Um, seriously, is that not something that you were, you've sat there before and go, why the heck isn't this here? Um, so yeah, now you, now instead of, going like this to find <laughs> to find a, a city you can now just go New York and you could find your city right there 
um, which is, it's really phenomenal. I really like the new Maps app, and I really like that they're they're making these improvements at a time when here is leaving. Um, so if you haven't heard the news, here Maps is not going to work on Windows Phone anymore. Um, it's not going to work at all on Windows 10 Mobile in a couple of months. Um, on Windows Phone 8.1, it's going to work for a little longer. Um, I'm guessing they told Microsoft about this a little earlier, gave them some time to prepare some new features. Um, but it, it's a really big blow to the platform when such a high-profile high app leaves like that. Um, so you can now access your favorites offline, add notes to them. We have updated the turn-by-turn -turn design to improve glanceability and landscape layout. Um, so let's check out that turn-by-turn -turn design. All right, getting directions. By the way, one thing that I'm going to miss about here, um, it's something that, that no one really talks about anymore, and it was City Lens. Um, City Lens is something that, that when I first got my first Windows phone, the guy at the Microsoft store showed me this thing, and he just kind of held it up, and you could see all the places around you by pointing at them. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world, and I had this kind of uh, you know, nostalgic feeling towards that app. Um, so it looks like this thing isn't going to navigate anytime soon. Let's try... Um yeah, so this app doesn't seem to be responding. <laughs> All right, so we won't go any further into the turn-by-turn. Turn. Obviously, the phone is fighting back. Um, so we have an updated alarms and clock app. Um, so let's let's do that. Finally, if we can get back to the home screen, thank you, Windows 10 Mobile, for showing me how great you are. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, we have an all-new design to, to set an alarm, right? So... It's um I, I think it looks great. Um tells you how long it is, which is always useful if you ask me. I know, you know, you set an alarm and I don't know, if if you're like me, you do that math in your head where you go, All right, um well I, I I'm waking up at seven thirty tomorrow, it's eleven fifteen now, it's eight hours fifteen minutes, um, so I should be about eight hours of sleep and like now now this'll help you do that math a little better. All right, so that's about it for mobile, sadly. Uh, we also have the feedback hub, or we should, because God knows if it's... <laughs> yeah, I was going to say God knows if it's just PC, or because they, they really didn't say, because it's mobile, and when you look at Microsoft release notes, when they're talking about PC and mobile at the same time, it's like mobile doesn't exist. All right, so the feedback hub is combined Insider Hub and Windows Feedback app. I'm guessing they did that because, you know... Um, I'm guessing they want more feedback, and I know a lot of people would visit the Insider Hub, and they were missing it when when the Threshold 2 10586 builds came out. So I'm, I'm guessing that these people said, well, if they combine the Insider Hub and the Feedback app, more people will go um, give us feedback, you know. Um, so yeah, what's fixed in mobile? We fixed the issue where connectivity to older Wi-Fi networks using web encryption security method may be broken. Fix an issue resulting in slower text input speed. The more words were typed. Oh wow, that's great because I've seen that one. Uh, we have improved word flow recognition of longer words. Fantastic. The all apps list has been updated to now follow the make text larger e ease of access setting. Great. <laughs> we fixed an issue where settings would sometimes list unresolved app names under extras. Uh, we fixed an issue where touch targets could be out of alignment in the photos picker. Um, I really got to say, a lot of these things are really basic things that they should have had this done in time for RTM. Like, we have improved word flow recognition of longer words. Like, shouldn't you have been working on that? I mean, if you ask me, um, because we're, we're all kind of frustrated with Windows 10 Mobile at this point. And, um, and it's very easy for me to criticize this stuff. Um, and I know, and, and all of us just want Windows 10 Mobile to be better. All of us just want Windows phones to succeed. And when I see them doing these things, like making a blog post about PC and mobile, and just throwing all those features in there, not saying this is PC only, but just kind of, you know, it's assumed because Windows 10 is PCs, and that's what Microsoft focuses on. And it's, it's very frustrating when you want something to, to succeed. And it can't succeed until Microsoft actually focuses on it. Anyway, no issues for mobile. If you reset your phone on this build and restore your phone from a backup, Restore will fail to install apps from your backup's apps list, leaving gray 
blank gray tiles on start. If you delete the gray tiles and attempt to reinstall the same apps from the store, you will not get app data restored. The next backup will overwrite the app backup data as well. To avoid hitting this bug, avoid resetting your phone on this build. If, if for some reason you do, do need to reset your device on this build, don't restore your phone from a backup, and you should turn off backup for apps and OS data to avoid creating a corrupt backup via settings update recovery backup. Fantastic. And you'll see right here that I have a gray... A gray tile for messenger there um i didn't restore from a backup i just upgraded to this build and i didn't do a, a factory reset but i can almost guarantee that that's why that gray tile is there um if you have a microsoft band one or two paired to your phone it will no longer sync after up updating to this build due to a system api failure that occurs after the update if you want to get your band syncing with your phone again you can temporarily work around until we we release a fix um you can change the language of your phone as a short-term workaround until we release a fix. Um, by the way, um, I was questioning this during the last build because it was a known issue then too. Um, so you can change it to any language you want. You can change it from English US to English UK. Um, so my question was, why can't you change it to English US, English UK, and then change it back to English US? doesn't work like that. You can leave it at UK, but that's, that's all you can do. Um, next, the Gadgets app will not detect the Microsoft Display Dock on phones running Windows 10 Mobile Insider Preview builds, and thus cannot update the firmware version. If you have a dock which has already been updated to version 4, then this will not affect you. If you have a dock that has not been updated, then you may experience some minor issues with USB-C stability. You will still be able to use your dock in Continuum. Finally, there is a new option under Settings, Update and Security for Windows Insider Program. This is a work in progress option to improve managing Windows Insider Program settings on your device. Right now, if you go to this option, it crashes the settings app. Please continue to use the Windows Insider app to manage your settings for now. Um, honestly, I find that to be actually something that's really exciting because I don't know about you, but I actually kind of hate the, the Windows Insider app. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been trying to, to set a ring and it's, oh, we, we can't do it because you're, we lost the connection or, or we... We can't do it because you're already setting up an update. And it's like, geez, these things should work better together. So, I mean, the fact that that if they're going to make it more li like Windows for PCs, where you can simply, yeah, and it crashes the settings app, where you can simply just say, you know, start receiving insider builds and then use a slider to select your ring, you know, from within settings. I mean, it works on Windows 10 for PCs. Why do you need a separate app for it on phones? I mean, I suppose it makes sense that you needed an app to get there from Windows Phone 8.1, but there's no reason that that shouldn't be in there for Windows 10 Mobile. Anyway, guys, that's it for this build. Um, I wish I had more to show other than a Maps app and Alarms and Clock and complaining about, <laughs> about, about the way they treat these things and that Edge got these things on PCs. Anyway, guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Have a great night.